All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mo, and uh, here to talk about Brevis, a smart ZK coprocessor. So, what is a smart ZK coprocessor? Well, before we getting into that, let's look at uh, a challenge we face in blockchain today. Despite with all these amazing progress in the last couple of years in the blockchain space, we still face two challenges. That one is that whatever blockchain infrastructure we choose, whether it's layer two or alternative layer one, we're still mostly relying on distributed consensus of the base layer. And therefore, the blockchains themselves are fundamentally bad at the data rich and very complex computation. So an example to demonstrate that is really a trader loyalty program. For example, if let's say a Uniswap trader wants to claim a loyalty program uh, of a VIP trading status because he has traded more than 10,000 trade and 30 million volume in the last 30 days and get a fee discount. Well, you see this type of feature in every centralized exchange, like including Coinbase, Binance, and all that stuff. But you don't see this in any of the DEXs. Why is that? Well, because to implement that in a decentralized exchange on smart contract directly will cost you $20,000 in fee for just one single user and to compute the trading volume of a single user on chain will cost you four hours of computation time. So why is that? Well, because on-chain computation is really bad at dealing with this type of uh, data-heavy computation. You need to remember the state rule to calculate the 10,000 Merkle tree proof and compute all these LP, RLP decoding on-chain and aggregate that in a single proof. So what we have here is that we have a fundamental limitation in on-chain computing that there's no trust-free access to historical on-chain data for smart contract, and there's no trust-free data access for other blockchains on any other smart contract. And generally speaking, all these results to a very, very bad experience at data-driven and very complex computation. The conclusion here is just like CPU needs GPU as its coprocessor, blockchain as a Web3 CPU also needs a coprocessor of its own to offload this type of data-rich and complex computation for this, to this coprocessor and let this coprocessor do the job and uh, you know, return the result. But the most important thing here is that we cannot just like use an arbitrary centralized service to run this coprocessor, but we really need to do this without compromising the trust-free nature of blockchains. This is why we introduced Brevis. So Brevis is this ZK coprocessor that you can use to generate the ZK proof of arbitrary computation on any data and utilize the computation result on chain in an entirely trust-free way. So developers now can use uh, Brevis in three very simple steps. The first is to read data and then do the computation and finally verify the data on chain. So to read data, there are a lot of things you can read on Brevis in from the smart contract directly, including story state, blockchain information, uh, receipt, like which are basically swap events, beacon chain state transaction account from all these supported blockchains into the smart contract directly. And you know you can use SDK as simple as that to do that. And then you can run arbitrary compute on that, be that uh, calculating the trading volumes or calculating the user profile, whatever the computation you want to run on this data, you can do that with very simple API. And finally, with the result, you can post that result back to the blockchain uh, so that smart contracts can actually consume the result in entirely trust-free way end-to-end. -end. There's no trust in, uh, in employed to uh, Brevis or any other intermediary systems. And uh, you, you, you always hear that ZK is expensive and a very, uh, create a very high overhead. Well, you know, Brevis is actually very much production ready to prove the trading volume of a thousand trade on Uniswap, um, you know, with eight servers of uh, just a commercial, uh, commo uh, you know, commodity, uh, scale GPUs, it costs about $1.8, and latency is only uh, uh, about two minutes. So to put that into context, Uniswap on a monthly basis uh, execute about 4 million trades, and the monthly fee generated by Uniswap is $14.7 million. For Brevis, even with this simple setup, the monthly capacity is 19 million uh, transactions that, that it can process. And you know the monthly proving cost is just like seven thousand dollars, which is like a point zero five percent of the total protocol revenue from uh, Uniswap. So what I'm trying to he say here is that like this kind of a zk coprocessing functionality is very much ready in production that can be used. So, but we also introduced something called Brevis Coaching, which is a 
a crypto economic uh, portion of this entire protocol to introduce a further improvement on cost efficiency and also introduce additional features such as uh, proof of completeness and proof of non-existence. So what this is, is basically you have this uh, uh, proposal plus challenge basic model where your co-processing request will first hit previous AVS, which is eigenlayer AVS, and the node operators of these AVS will not run ZK proof upfront, but generate a, Z, a crypto economic security uh, validated result to post it back to the blockchain and open a challenge window. During that challenge window, if someone, uh, if someone spotted a, a arrow in the computation, uh, a challenge can be initiated, then later a ZK proof can be submitted on chain to slash whoever is submitting the wrong result. So, of course, like previous token plays a role here to uh, act as a staking token. There are many different application uh, use cases for Brevis uh, today, including data-driven DeFi and many others. I can go through them quickly. Um, so basically, you know, for example, uh, for data-driven DeFi, you have DeFi protocol data input, like LP deposit swap event, and you do calculation, you can generate dynamic protocol fee for Uniswap and the trust-free active liquidity management, retrospective farming reward based on LP contribution, trust-free temporal intent based automation, and you can also do ZK reputation based on the clustering behavior of users, on-chain behavior. We actually work with Trusta for proof of humanity, proof of pro-trader, pro OG at risks, and all that stuff. So what I'm trying to say is that there is very diverse space of the application use case for ZK coprocessor that can empower your smart contract to compute more, access more, um, and you know, utilize data in a more efficient way. So that's all from me, and uh, you know, feel free to follow us on Twitter and uh, you know, ask me any question afterwards.